Welcome back everybody. Um, I'm not going to do a voiceover. I'm just going to try to do this piece with you. So this is a 14 inch clock round. We've taped the back and this is actually for a commission piece um, at our most recent market day event. Um, a gentleman liked a painting that I did by accident but he said it needs more purple. So he wants wanted a bigger clock that looked like the painting but with more purple and that was really all the direction he gave so he said he's not picky he just wants lots of purple so here goes we're gonna give it a shot so I rewatched the video I haven't even posted it yet from the painting that I did sort of by accident um, I didn't like it and it wasn't what I was trying to do um, and so I basically just went and kind of rewatched the colors and I added a couple of colors that um, we have. So we're gonna be using a mixture. So this is our, we're gonna use the Bloom recipe. So this is our house paint, which I obviously did not stir enough, which kind of worries me a little bit. And it seems to have some goop in it. I just put it in here last night and so Kind of worries me that I didn't maybe sh not not shake it because you don't really want to shake it but stir it enough <clears throat> so we'll see hopefully we won't have any issues sorry if you can see my shoulder I just want to make sure that some of what I'm seeing isn't goopy stuff underneath here um I usually I keep forgetting to put GAC 800 in mine but I usually do um put like a couple of drops of 91% alcohol, which I know is super hard to find right now, in my paint, my pillow paint bottle when I refresh it and fill it up again because it helps with those white pimple bubbles that sometimes come up through paint. So I know I have a lot of paint on here and I know I just created bubbles. I just wanted to make sure that this was mixed and it wasn't going to separate later. So. <clears throat> We're just going to pop them with these tweezers. They'll probably pop on their own when I stretch and tilt and all that. I think I'm going to try to do, so this is a 14 inch clock round I got on Blick's website. Had it for a long time, so when he said he wanted a bigger piece, I was like, well, I have some 14 inch rounds. And he was like, cool. So, um... I have never used these before. I've obviously done clock rounds before, but I've never used these before. But they're really nice, and I like that they're not super thick. Um, because sometimes it's hard to find clock parts. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this little hole. And just spread this out a little bit. Mostly to make sure that we have plenty of paint on here and we don't have to overstretch just to get to the edges um, and I'm honestly a little nervous about it not being fully mixed in there so <clears throat> so I'm just gonna make sure it's kind of spread out and then I'll put just a little bit more on the top I haven't been had time to like paint in a couple of weeks so some of the stuff I had mixed up had been sitting here for a little bit so this way, the edges are covered, and if we find a composition that we really, really like, we're not going to be overstretching just to get the edges covered. And um, I honestly have no idea if this is going to be great or like a complete train wreck. So I tried to pick things that I like in case we end up keeping this box. <laughs> but rather than doing a voiceover, I thought, well, We'll just do it. do it all at the same time. I tried to record something earlier and <clears throat> I found out when I ended the camera that, uh, or ended the video rather, that the camera had been out of focus for 20 minutes. I was like, awesome. So let me clean my hands off. I'm just gonna put like a little circle on the top 
just to give us an actual pillow. And then I really have no idea what we're doing. I know in that, um, in that painting, I did some sort of baboon red or wine and roses because I use it all the time. And then I used blue violet and I used iridescent um, bright gold from Golden. Maybe I have enough on here. Maybe not. And a white cell activator. So all I did was um, I have two kinds of gold mixed up, the same one and Deco Art 24 karat gold. So all I did was get both of those. I have Tiger's Eye by Color Art that I may add in for some contrast. I also mixed up a little bit of prism violet and a little bit of blue violet, I mean deep violet, and a little bit of deep violet dark by Liquitex. So, so I'm just making sure that we have enough paint to move things around here. You don't want to overdo it because if you get too much paint on your surface and you don't tip it all off, that can cause cracking as I'm sure most of you know. So let's give it a go, shall we? So this is, um, I think it's Vaboom Red. So I really don't know the best way to do this. I'm gonna try to like, do it on both sides like this. The little hole in the middle is always something that you can't entirely plan for, you know, so. But I love the contrast that this color brings. It still has some purple tones to it, but it's not, like I think, you know, purple can be very purpley if you have no contrast. So I'm going to I'm going to put this close together because I think I'm going to swipe over this color. Because this is Amsterdam paint and Amsterdam paint does exceptionally well under cell activator. So I'm going to try to swipe over this color as much as I can. Realizing that I'm probably going to have to swipe in both directions to make this work. So at first I was like, well, Maybe I put color in four different places. This is a little thick. You wanted a lot of purple, so I'm not really all that worried about that. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm gonna do right next to this color is I'm gonna put a little bit of this golden bright iridescent gold. Sorry if you can hear my squeaky tumbler turner in there. Make sure it's not doing that weird out of focus thing, okay. And whoa, that's like a ton of gold in one spot. Oh well, gold is pretty, so it's fine. And then um, I think we'll do, I don't remember if this is deep violet or golden violet dark or whatever it is. It feels thicker, so I'm thinking this is Liquitex Deep Violet because the golden one is a, a fluid one. So anyway, I figured instead of doing a voiceover, we would just have the journey at the same time. I think sometimes that's fun when you're trying something like that because the person can discover things while they're doing it that, you know, by the time they do a voiceover, they've already done that. So I try to do a blend between the two. And so I'm thinking a little bit of this tiger's eye, just a little bit, like a very little bit, might give us a little contrast. It's a little thin because I just freshened it up.
And then, I don't remember which one this is. I think this is the golden one. I can tell because it's kind of a little more runny. The reason I added the tiger's eye is because with all these different shades of purple, my thought process is when we swipe it, it's gonna just be very purple. So I think having a couple of oops, having a couple of different shades in there will help. Um, the other thing I think I'm going to do is maybe just add a little bit of this in there. We're almost out of it anyway. Whoa. And then on the other side, because we're probably going to have to swipe both ways, we'll add maybe some more gold. I tend to put too much color down, but because he wants there to be so much purple, I'm almost afraid to not put enough color down, so. Okay, just getting paint everywhere at this point. It's cool. And then, I think over here, we'll do a little more of the blue-violet. And I hope that this, once we swipe it and stretch it, is going to take us around the mountain here. If not, I don't really know. I don't know what to expect with this. So I better not use all of my colors, huh? So the, the swipe that this person saw was, <laughs> I had seen Erica Hughes do like the coolest painting. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna do that, but like with these colors. <laughs> I mean, it was a good idea until I put it on the spinner. And it was an epic fail. So, um, it spun out and there was all these crazy gaps in the middle. I still kept it because I asked my husband and he said not to scrape it. So, I was like, okay. So I still kept it. Um, and I went ahead and resined it. It was only a 10 by 10 and it was a level one canvas. So, I mean, we weren't talking a super expensive canvas, but I was like, this is terrible. And so, <clears throat> but some people actually like it. You know, when my husband made a good point the other day, he was like, people don't always realize what you meant to do. So they don't see it as a fail the way you see it. They see it as something pretty. And I was like, that's true. I mean, I think that's true of most of us, right? You see something and you're like, oh, that's cool. You didn't realize that the person like totally meant to do something else and it turned out to be terrible. That is a lot of purple right there. So, you don't sweat the small stuff and you work through it, right? So let's uh, sharpen the gold a little so we still have some contrast, huh? Or maybe we'll just add some more but we did like the gold, so. Oh, this is the wrong color gold. Oh my gosh. This is 24 karat gold. Very different. I mean, just a lot more bright, or yellow versus bright. Oh well. Oh my gosh, I'm making a gigantic mess. Some of my paints are too thin and some of them are too thick. I feel like we should swipe now. So, <clears throat> I like to use these. And I like to put my cell activator on it and swipe it that way. And not too much because then you don't want to have your cell activator completely take over either. So. And again, I'm no swiping pro yet, but that's about what I'm looking at. I'm gonna start here and very gently pull this way. 
That's uh, not the great greatest sell action, huh? Probably should use two picks. That's weird. I just mixed this up the other day. It should be like some magic. Oh, there it's happening now. Let me just get some toothpicks. Maybe. <clears throat> so it wasn't like cell magic necessarily, but it's okay. Still very pretty colors. Um I'm trying to swipe in such a way that if we tilt it and it goes a different direction, that it's okay. So, um, we're wiping our card off. Card off. This looks a lot more uh, pink than purple. Hopefully, he likes pink too. I do like the contrast of the gold and the even the little bit of the copper coming through. Let's see. Kind of dipped into both sides on purpose to account for that little gap right there. I'm about to have to switch this guy up. <clears throat> and I think I'm a little heavy handed with this one right here. So, okay, I'm going to switch cards now. I don't know y'all. I don't know if this is going to be what we're looking for or not. So this side, where am I going to partially, we don't want to waste cell activator because Amsterdam Floetrol is like liquid gold. Somehow it's going to end up getting tipped off. So, And on this side, We're going to use the other side of that card. So, I feel like my cell activator may be a little too thin, but we'll see. You know what? Let me see. I don't know. I wish y'all could tell me what you're thinking. Like, oh, it looks like ball matter. I think it's going to be okay. It's gonna come together. Don't freak out yet. Okay, let's see. Now, here's the challenge. I did those with the intention of pulling from there. I don't really know what I was, I guess I didn't expect the paint would move as much as it did. So I'm actually gonna to have to pull from the same spot. So that should be weird. And I find it sometimes is challenging to control it coming from over there. So let's see. See, I skipped some spots. It's all right. I'll just swipe over that spot again. Well, not the whole spot, just the spot that I skipped. And this is getting kind of messy, my little card. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I'm trying to talk quietly because my husband's doing homework and I don't want to distract him. Okay, Oof. it's hard to do from away from me. I'm not very uh, coordinated 100% of the time. Also, that feels like a lot further away. And I think that card is toast, so. Huh, let's see, next. I like parts of it a lot. 
it's hard to tell at this point, like what's going to be a success and what's not. I was watching a video Shelly did earlier today where um, she did like a pseudo swipe in a circular round and it looked so cool. And I was like, man, if the clock turned out like that, that would be the coolest. But the hole gets in the way, so it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to measure how that's going to go, you know, like now because I tried to do it all at the same time, I'm afraid that that part's going to have a big gaping thing. So I'm going to have to try to overcompensate a little bit. I have paint on my fingers. Okay. Let's see. Fluid art is messy. Let's see if we can't compensate, huh? Bring it over here with its friends. That's still going to have a big giant white spot right there, so. And let's see. I do love the way um, the purple and the gold go with that uh, baboon red. Look, look right there. That's pretty cool. I entirely too much cell activated on here. It's going to take over. Okay, let's see. That card is toast. Or I don't trust myself with it one or the other. Okay, this is gonna go over there. All right. Nope, I didn't think that through very well. Nope, I sure didn't. Okay. Um, I had a dyslexic moment. Okay. All right. I do think I'm going to try to grab the edge of these and just pull them off a little bit. I know that it's going to end up tilting off, but like what if the edge was like beautiful and perfect and we could have tried to save it, you know what I mean? I'm getting cell activator in all of the things. <clears throat> um, no, I am making a legit mess here. Okay, almost done. And I used the wrong edge of the card again. <laughs> that's just ugly so the one part I'm a little worried about is this part but I sure hesitate to ruin an entire painting over one part so let's move things out that could become casualties which is literally all of these things and we're gonna try to tilt it and of course there's K cups on the bottom <laughs> But you're probably going to want to stick to it. So I didn't even use the prism violet in case anyone was wondering. I, I mentioned it, but it didn't feel like it flowed very well with what we were trying to accomplish, so I didn't use it. Oops, I got a booger in this other thing of paint. And if you guys can patient with me. I kind of feel like I need to get my hands clean because otherwise I feel like this stuff is going to get on the painting. I think I just need to be careful how I tilt it. So hang with me for just a second. We put lids on things and we will tilt. Um, if anybody does the balloon recipe, I use these little condiment cups. They usually keep things pretty airtight for a little while, like that. Um, on the link below, I have a whole bunch of them on my Amazon shop, um, which is pretty decent price if you are, oops, if you're ordering a bunch. So, just FYI, it is. Um, 
always nice to save money where you can when you're spending a lot of it painting. So it's not always cheaper to buy things on Amazon, but there are times where you save quite a bit for <clears throat> what you're doing. And the other thing is I go through popsicle sticks like crazy, either from mixing pigments or mixing resin or whatever. So there's a link for a pretty decent price on those as well. So I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't have a lot of paint on this can or on this clock to move things around, which was one of my fears. So I would like to close that little gap over there. The good thing is I like purple, so if this does not meet his expectations, it won't be a complete waste because we like purple too, or I do mostly. My husband buys me purple stuff all the time. I kind of want the pattern to move around a little bit. I don't want it to be like just giant straight up and down swipe. So I really hate to lose some of this cell action over here, but I also don't want it to be too straight. So I'm trying to find the happy middle with how we're tilting because like I said I don't want to lose all the cell action but I don't want it to be all straight up and down. I think that these paintings look really beautiful when they're um, not perfectly symmetrical. Now the challenge is, the only swipe that I have done this big successfully was not a round um, with a hole in it, and it was a 10 by 12 rectangular. So I probably should have maybe practiced on like a record or something to see if these colors were gonna work. But, like I said, I was like, if it, if it doesn't turn out the way I'm hoping, then I will probably still like it. But I should have had a little bit more paint on the canvas, not the canvas, the, the wood round, so it would move a little bit better. But honestly, I, I kind of really like it. There's this one part that's like real purpley here and I'm really tempted to try to correct that with some cell activator. Um, I'm sure y'all can see what I'm talking about. But again, like my husband said, if someone doesn't know that maybe you didn't mean for that to be there, they might actually really like that. So I think maybe I should leave it alone. What do y'all think? I'd love to see your comments. Um, I mean, you may not want to say like, oh, it sucks, because that might make me sad. But if you're like, hey, I like it, it's pretty cool, I maybe wouldn't have thought it turned out like that, you know, that may not make me sad. And now I kind of want to stretch out the middle, but like not too much, you know? Like I want to open it up, but I don't want to lose all of the cool parts either. So... Anyway, I'd love your feedback. I'd love to know what you think. Um, trying to figure out if I should just stop. And, um, cause I'm gonna finish it with the resin. So I don't want the edges to get really muted. Um, but I would like it to be a little swirlier. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of wondering if I let it keep kind of following a little swirly action if if we'll get a little more swirliness from it. I just don't want to tip anything off that we really like in the process, you know? Like this part right here looks really cool, so if I do that over here, I'm probably getting paint like everywhere. So, 
hope I'm in the frame. Sorry, I'm really not great at that sometimes. I honestly really like it. This is a lot more like what I was going for when I made the messed up one after I had seen Erica's painting. Um, I shouldn't say it's messed up. Where the one didn't turn out like I had planned. This was a lot more what I had in mind. Something like this, but on a swipe. So my thought is if you do this like a clock, maybe you, the composition is like this and you hang it where the cells in the middle um, or sort of catty corner, not straight up and down, you know what I mean? But ultimately, if he doesn't like it this way, he liked two different things. He liked the, um, the resin pour that we did on a record. I don't know if you guys have seen that video. So we used resin pigments, mostly Leslie's, on a record. And, um, he liked that, but he wanted more purple and he wanted it to be bigger. And then he liked the clocks that we've done, only he just wanted them to be bigger with more purple. So I don't know if this will be his cup of tea or not, but I will take a picture. And if he doesn't like it, I kind of do. I kind of dig it. So I don't think I would scrape it. I think I would try again on another clock round because I honestly also think once this is resined it'll be really really nice looking I mean um, of course we've got color art in here and then well in two different places and then we've got the gold and so you can't really miss from a shimmer perspective so I like it I hope that you like it I kind of want to keep tilting this part and then I kind of know that I need to leave it alone so Y'all are probably saying, just put it down. Please stop. So, I'm probably going to do that. I just kind of want to close up this white gap right here. But I also am pouring some of the really nice stuff down the middle. So, let's see. I'll try to remember to come back and let you guys know whether we liked it or we had to redo it. Well, I'm sure if we have to redo it, there will be another video. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Um... To all of our faithful watchers and subscribers, we certainly appreciate you, and um, thank you for continuing to support us, and um, thank you all so much. Have a great day. Now, how do I turn my okay. camera? All right, here's the close-up without the studio lights. As you can see, um, because of the violet and the Vavoom Red, it definitely has a... Uh, fuchsia tone to it so we'll see thanks again for watching